It's my day. All right. You're ready to go. Ready to go. All right. All right. Good, good. Mehndi lagi mere haath re. I'm Kyle, Kyle. I'm Kyle. I'm Kyle. We never saw our movie. You have to get us a copy. I have it. I have it. You know you have it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you have it. He sent it to Dad and then I took a copy. I'm going to hand this to you. I have it. I saw your movie. Did you check? Hey, before I get up, let's go. I'm like, he's our. He's our. Come on, yeah. Hey, Mika. Hi. What are you doing? You all you eat? Yeah. Pre-med West. Hey, how are you? Hi. Nina Ben. Get all your advice. All the food. Advice, like maybe five. Okay, right. Well, this is my like ten years. If, if that's not enough, oh, wow. you can yeah, ask her. Years. Well, maybe the marriage fight. Right. Okay. Hello, Sachi. 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 Hello, Sachi.
Light, light, okay, good. Who is this? Alright. Okay. Alright, hop, hop. There's little Miss Ebony. Show me, show me, show me, come on. Show me, show me the hand. Good, alright. That's good. Good. Come on, Sachi. Good, and then smile on the big face. Good, alright. डायमंड Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
પછી મજાય આવે છે આજે નો દિવસ છે આનંદ ડાયમંડ બહુ ચળકતો છે બહુ ચળકતો છે ગુડ વેરી ગુડ સિમ્પલ ધીરે ધીરે ખવડાવો પાણી કેવું ઠંડુ કે ગરમ કેવું લેક પેરિસ કાંતિભાઈ બરાબર ભાવ પાણીમાં જોવાનું નથી હજુ વાર છે પાણી મજા તો પાણી રાખવું પડે અહીંયા પાણી ખાતે પાણી મજા આવે પાંચ વાગ્યા પછી ઠંડક મજા ઠંડક માં ઠંડક પેરિસ સાવ લાગે મરજી વાળા બાર બેઠા છે અને તરવૈયા અંદર છે મરજી વાળા છે બધા તો ડૂબે તો જશે નહીં તો નહીં જાય એટલા માં મરજી વાગે એને મરજી વાગ કેવાય છે ઓ 
There's a boat side, that side. Good. I thought you were going to go to the boat. I'm going to go to the boat. I'm going to go to Gupta GP. Yes. Alright, let's go. Alright, Anand, Kemche, Bas, Ready to go. Good. What's your point? Okay. 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 Kali Pamodun na jamu che, ma kaso adu na chhi. Kali I don't want to know. 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 Alright, you go. Bye. Alright. How are you, sir? Raju, bye. Bye. Good. good. Alright. Kiri Chala hai. Nagan is Jesse. Okay. Kamal hai. Kiri Chala Kamal hai. It's still better this way than having a wheelchair, right? <laughs> <laughs> we will here at 5.30. Of course, you are always 5.30. What time can you do? Schedule and schedule. Uh, that is because you drive in, you go on a plane all the time. That's the reason, okay? Know, exactly. we, drive, we drive in a car, so time is no limit, okay? That's mommy. This is everything. Okay. Oh, in the sappy, the happy. I haven't come there at all in so long. The summer now. Summer now. That now we're done with school. Now that I'm done, yeah. yeah. I'll be able to come. That's good. That's good. That's good. This is the newest. This is the newest member of the family. <laughs> oh me? Of course you are. Okay, right. Hang out, come I'm the newest until uh, two hours from now. Of course, huh? Yeah, there's coming. <laughs> no I have to enjoy it while I can. We're fine. We're in the shade. Okay, good. Here are the scarves yes. for the oh, each tray. Uh, Alright, let's go. Lata, where's your tray? Yeah, you can go. Lata, you can go. Lata, you can go. Lata, you can go. Lata, you can go. Oh, one was yeah. for Alina, right? No, she's already in the car. It's no, coming, one coming. coming like this. Thank you. Okay. All right, me. We wouldn't meet. Hi, me. Hi. Hi. Good luck. <laughs>
Let's go, man.
了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了，干了
ससुर ने ससुरी थी જે ભૂખો છે ને ખાવા લાગે We will enjoy all these good memories starting today. We will today. too. We will too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you for everything. So what joy for you to come in our house. Welcome, Mami. Come on, Mama. 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 ઓકે <laughs> 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 આવો બેની આજ 
uh, joyous occasion. Uh, so I think we're going to get the program started a little bit. Uh, you guys are welcome to sit in any of the tables. The bar to the left. I uh, just ask everyone to move outside and kind of enjoy the day. Um, so yeah, we're going to play some music and uh, let the party get started. I know. Dancing. I please, thank you. Drink out, drink. How are you looking? What are you drinking? Oh, sorry, Everyone, quick announcement okay, on appetizers. Yes, yeah, so right. I'm really looking. Food, or is on the left side of the house over here. Um, so feel free to take it. Oh, I like. Hello. Good. Hi. 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 Malti Mali Raja. Hello. Okay, how are you? I don't know how. But this is Manisha. Manisha. More about Manisha. Manisha is with me. Who is with you? Hi. Good hi. Good hi too. Oh, good okay. Oh, good. We're sitting next to each other on the table. Ah, right. We're sitting next to each other on the table. Well, I know that. So. What else? I'm Raju Uncle. Hi, nice yeah. to meet you. Raju Uncle. Kamcha, Kamcha, Varsasu. Saki. Alright. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye
17 or 17. Kenta. Luki Kenta. Kenta, how is your family there? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good I told you, we are like that. Yeah, they want you. Banu, they want you. Banu, they want you. મોડા માં કેવું લાગે છે Sanskar for parent of a daughter and also a very important sanskar for parent of a boy. Vagdan, Vag means vachan, your word. So what's happening here is a two family give the word to each other that their children will unite in holy matrimony down the line. That's the meaning of the ceremony today. We're going to start the ceremony. Now hold the water in your right hand. Chamsina, yeah. You touch the hand. Come on, hat lagar. Om Gananan Twa Ganapati Gum Hava Mahi Priyanan Twa Priyampati Gum Hava Mahi Nidhinan Twa Nidhipati Gum Hava Mahi Om Shiriddhi Siddhi Sahit Karpati Dirta Avayami Sthapayami Om Sumukhaya Namastubhyam Ganadhipataye Namaha Pushpasanam Mayadattam Viknam Poojam Nivaraya 
रम्या सुशोभनम दिव्यम सर्वोच्च शांघ कम शुभम आसनम चम्मया दत्त गुरुहानम गणनायक महागणपति संप्रिते आसनम समर्पयामि जस्ट पुल डू वाटर इन इन द प्लेट इन द प्लेट थाली में वन मोर टाइम ओम गणानंतवा गणवदि गुम हवा महे कविं कवी ना उपवस्त्रवस्तमं जेष्ठराजो ब्रह्मणा ब्रह्मणनस्पद आनह शुणवंतु जी दसादनं ओम महागणपते नमः महागणपति संप्रिते पुष्पासनं समर्वयामि वटाइम ओम उष्णोदक निर्मलं च सर्वसौगंधि संयुक्तं पाद प्रक्षालनार्थे प्रत्यम ते प्रतिगुह्यत महागणपति संप्रिते पाद प्रक्षालं समर्पयामि वन मोर टाइम अर्घ्यम अक्षताश्च सुरश्रेष्ठा कंकुमुक्ता सुशोभिता मया निवेदिता भक्त्य गुरुहानाम गणनायक महागणपति संप्रिते अक्षतम समर्पयामि पश्यतम फुल लेवन शकध्वजम रक्तम लंबोदरम शुर्वकर्णकम रक्तवाससम रक्तगंधान लिप्तांगम रक्तपुष्पाई सुगोजितम भक्तानु कंपितम देवम जगत्कारणम अच्छुदम आविर्भूदम जसुष्पैदो भ्रक्रुदे पुरुषात परम एवं धायति योनित्यम सयोगी योगी नाम बरह नमो व्रत बताए नमो प्रमथ बताए नमस्ते स्तो लंबोदरा एक दंताय शुष्टाय शिवर्दमुर्ते नमः महागणवदी सम्प्रिते आज मंत्र पुष्पांजलि इंसामर पयामी नैवेद्यम शरकराखंड खाद्यानि दधिक्षी रघुतानि च आहार भोक्षभोज्यम च नैवेद्यम प्रतिगुह्यता महागणपति संप्रिते नैवेद्यम समर्पयामि महागणपति संप्रिते मुखवास तांडुलम समर्पयामि लवंग करपुरा युक्तम तांबुलम सुरपुजितम कृत्या ग्रुहान देवेशा मलसाच्य विवर्धनम महागणपति संप्रिते मुखवास तांडुलम समर्पयामि ॐ नवग्रह देवता तुष्टिपाल देवता आवयामी स्थापयामी सूर्या यन्मह सूर्यमा आवयामी स्थापयामी चंद्रा यन्मह चंद्रमा आवयामी स्थापयामी भूमा यन्मह भूममा आवयामी स्थापयामी बुधा यन्मह बुधमा आवयामी स्थापयामी ब्रह्मस्पत यन्मह ब्रह्मस्पति मा आवयामी स्थापयामी शुक्रा यन्मह शुक्रमा आवयामी स्थापयामी शनिश्वरा ये नमः शनिश्वरमा आवयामी स्थापयामी राहु ये नमः राहु मा आवयामी स्थापयामी केतु ये नमः केतु मा आवयामी स्थापयामी अनया पूज्या सांग सन्निधम कुरु कलशे प्रजापति देवता आवयामी स्थापयामी कलशे इष्ट देवता आवयामी स्थापयामी कलशे कुल देवता आवयामी स्थापयामी अनया पूज्या सांगा सब परिवारों प्रजापति देवता अप्रियता if you want to know who she is, she is right here. For all of you, check her out. She is sitting right here. She is at the attack, the bar, the dinner, Sanskrana, the school, the wire, the tea, the tea. So he says that if you accept, then at the right time, according to Acharya's right tithi, we will decide after the wedding day.
प्रार्थे स्वीकृता मया If you like what you see, then you have the right day, right time when Acharya decides, we will decide on the day for the day. Now we are looking at the total. So as Acharya, I will assume that we will accept them. Hmm? ओम भगंते वरुणो राजा भगम सूर्यो बृहस्पति भगम इंद्रश्च राजुश्च भगम सप्तर्भाग्यम श्रीमंत यूर्धरे लाटे कर्णयोराक्षो रापो विघ्नस्पुते सद तव निश्चय वाग्दिने सन्निधो अत्र अग्दान so Mantra says that in front of Hachari, Lord Ganesha and all the tools and all the invited guests, you both have given the word and you all heard it and it is accepted and duly noted. ओम प्रणम शिषा देव गौरीपुत्र विनायक भट्टवास स्मरे नियु काम्थ सिद्ध प्रथम वक्रतुंड I'm like one of the only when I was a third year. I 
ટાઈમ તો તારા મને છે તારી મુવી પાવી જ પડશે ટાઈમ શું કામ નથી ભરત કેમ છે મીરાબેન કેમ છે મીરાબેન મીરા ની પાવા મીરા તું ત્યાં જ બે ભરત તારી પાસે આવે ભરત તારી પાસે આવી રહ્યો છે ભરત તું બાકી માં છે એની અને જરા સ્માઈલ કર મનીષાબેનકાંજી Good job, good job. Good job. કવિતા ખાગી ગઈ છે કવિતા બહુ નાની ગઈ છે બધા ગાવાનું છે
Congratulations, Smita. One more time. <laughs> All right, congratulations. One more time. All right, good. Thank you. I'm sure my video is on. Okay. Good. Congratulations. <laughs> we just wanted to come up. <laughs> I don't even know. Absolutely. You better come up. We got to come and see the top. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Monsanto. So when do we get to see these pictures? Oh, a week for less. Oh, a week for less? Okay, great. All right. Okay. Oh, well, you contact Anuja. I think you called me and then I gave you that number. Oh. Okay. Very lonely. Beautiful. You didn't bring the whole bar? Okay, you didn't bring the whole time. Oh, okay. 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 Me too. See? Roger has it on. No, you need to get the horn out of him. Hold on. 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 Hi, Apana. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hey, how are you? All right, good. Tell me you're ready. So she's probably going to stay on. All right. You're good. Okay. Captain, you Hey, long time no see. How are you doing? Good. Hey, you had a girl? No. I know. Okay, watch my son. Yeah, Janavi Ali. Uh -huh. yeah, good. Uh -huh. yeah, good. Okay, Jay. Single looking good. Single looking good. Get this picture like this. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking and. No, he is doing it. He has one of his movies like that. One of his pictures like that. I never showed the one. I don't know about you. Okay. Okay, Rasmin Saab. Exactly. Okay, Rasmin Saab. I was looking at the name. Oh, Jirasi Jeje Saki. Oh, Jirasi Jeje Saki. One and a half. One and a half. Jirasa Jumlu Me. One and a half. One and a half. All right. Come on, cheers. This is back for cheers. Where's the other thing? Not that one. I don't have any other kind. No other kind of color. All right. All right. Who's that guy? Oh, two more. Oh, seriously, yes, 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 yes. Well, I hope you can get it on tape because you get blackmailed. No, 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 I can't. Blackmailed? I don't care. I can't, and I will. You will never do it. You don't have a guts. With her? With her? Yes, I will. Let her. She knows it too, right? You have to have balls to do it. I have a ball. I thought you didn't get that one. That is all I want. Then you don't have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You can borrow mine. <laughs> Where did you learn that part though? Hospital ma karwano ho biju. Hey, see what you guys talk about now. Oh my god, you don't want to be. Man, oh, honey, oh, you know, I know, I know. You don't want to talk about that. I, I tell people about that. Oh, 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 
Helicopter for Anuja. Exactly. Hey. Hey.
जीतते No, I came to tell you guys that my mom made curry banana chips, and she makes excellent curry. So let me make sure that my loco curry, ane magas, ane banana chips, ane corn papri, ane sukhariyani halwa se naal. So make sure you try. Let me tell you. I All the time. <laughs>
you want to take some pictures, okay? So we'll take care. Okay, that's a white shirt, common shirt. That's right. Common, something common. Okay. It's in the car. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a camera in the car? Uh, How do I see the light view over here? If, if you bend over, she will walk over. <laughs> Don't bend over, right? <laughs> you guys want to try the masala mushroom? Try masala mushroom. Try the 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 masala you can never be too many beer, okay? If you are consumed. <laughs> Nothing too many beer, if you are consumed. <laughs> ખાજે <laughs> 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 As a person gives up old garments, clothes, and puts on ones that are new, similarly the soul gives up the material body and accepts a body that is new. Weapons can never cut the soul, nor can fire scorch it. Waters cannot moisten it, nor can the wind dry it. The soul can never be divided nor burned. It is insoluble, inextinguishable. It is eternal, all-pervading, fixed, unshakable, everlasting. It is unmanifest, inconceivable, unchangeable. Knowing this, you should not grieve. And Krishna goes on, a couple more verses. He says, my dear Arjuna, Arjuna, it is by a rare chance, and the word is ascharya. So it is by a rare chance someone may see this soul or have a glimpse. By a rare chance another person may speak of this sat, this soul. Still another may, another may hear of this soul. But in truth, even after speaking, hearing, and seeing this soul, no one in truth can understand what is this spiritual principle sat, what is this soul. O descendant of Bharata, that which is situated within the body of every being can never be killed. Therefore, you should grieve for no living. Oma janati manandasya janan janashalakaya 
चक्षुर्मितम तस्म श्रीगुरवे नम I always like to read these verses in the Gita at a time like this because we come and we see a person, a father, a grandfather, a husband, whatever the friend, whatever the relation is, and we're used to seeing the person alive, walking, talking. In fact, I was looking when I first came in and I saw the picture over there, and I could see that was a fairly recent picture. It's not a young man's picture. But I look and I see the sparkle in the eyes. I see joy in the face. I see a, a very much alive person. And then the contrast, of course, is very much stark, very severe. And so our tendency is, living in this world, is that whether we like it or not, we're trained by the billboards, by the media, by just life is that we're trained that everything is tied up in this world, in this physical body, in this outward existence that we have, sharira, deha, so many different words are there. And so when the deha goes down, when the sharira goes down, when the asat, when the clothes goes down, and yet underneath it, what sustains it is this sat. And so the sparkle in the eye, the smile, the smile in the face, the joy in the expression is coming from, not the body, but it's coming from that spiritual essence that was shining forth at that time when the picture was taken. Take away that shining principle that sat, time to look deeper and look for that principle within. And I like to mention, all of you know this, every time we do puja, we always put that tikka on, okay, the red dot. And that akshar is that looking at that uh, unchanging side. Akshar, this is looking at the sat. And so here, I have a, a little, just a short paragraph I'd like to read. And years ago when I was in Bengal, I was uh, reading some things, and I was doing some research for some work that I was doing in the university. And we were working in religious studies, so we had this advantage, and I came across one Bengali gentleman, his name was Kedernath Dutta. And so he had a very interesting position. He was a magistrate and he was working with the British Raj. This was back in the uh, eight, uh, 1800s. And so he was also a great Hindu leader. He was a Vaishnava leader in Bengal at that time. And so he wrote most of his things in Bengali, but he wrote a couple things in English. And there's one thing that I grabbed and took with me, and I thought it was very important, and I keep it as a message for my own life. And so our, his spiritual name was Bhaktivano Thakur, and his good name was Kedarnath Dutta. So he writes, My dear friends, while located in this Mayak world, in this world of Asat, a person must live peacefully with the object to cultivate the spirit, Sat. In his society, one must lead a pure life, avoid sins, and do as much good as he can to his brother man must be humble, bearing the difficulties of life with heroism, he must not brag any goodness or grandeur he has, and must treat everyone with due respect. If one wants to get married, married with a view, marriage with a view to, to a peaceful and virtuous life, and with the idea to procreate, procreate servants of the Lord, in other words, to have children, is a good institution for a spiritual person. Spiritual cultivation is the main object of life do everything that helps it, and avoid doing things which thwart the cultivation of the spirit. Have strong faith in God alone. He writes here, Krishna alone protects you, and admit none else. Admit God only as your only guardian. Do everything which you know God wishes you to do, and never think that you do a thing independent of the holy wish of Bhagavan. Do all that you do with humility. Always remember that you are a sojourner, a traveler in this world, and you must be prepared for your own home. Do your duties, cultivate bhakti as a means to attain the great end of life, Krishna Priti, love of God. Employ your body, mind, and spirit in the service of the deity. In all of your actions, worship your great Lord. So this paragraph 
as much as we can. I try, I try to keep it as a driving force of my own life. I offer it to you. He was a great man, and you're standing. Grandchildren are those standing on the shoulders of a great man. Um, Amar, did you want to? We can talk so much theory, but we don't know the details, so it's, it's important to hear. Thank you very much, Shukachi. Before we move on with the eulogies and bhajans from family and friends, I'd like to say a few brief words myself about Dada. As a young child, Dada, to me, was the kind man who'd walk me home, watching as I collected sticks along the way, and who would rub my head and my hands on those long and tiring car rides. But as I grew up, and as I learned more about him, Dada became more than just my grandfather. He became a role model and an inspiration to me. My father told me stories about how Dada helped provide counsel to the poor in his town who were taken advantage of, and how he was arrested during India's struggle for independence for his publishing work. And although Dada himself never spoke much about these particular stories, in any conversation with him, his strong sense of morality his discipline in adhering to his principles and philosophy was readily apparent. In fact, his example led me uh, to write much of my college application essay about how much I wanted to emulate his character. So, though we've lost the physical presence of Bada this week, it consoles me to think that the influence of his example will live on through all of us. At this point, I'd like to introduce my foy, Rajan Dutton.
become repeated over and over again in midsummer. Only his commencement of another journey, an otherworldly journey, could keep him from immersing himself in the game that so captured his fancy. Unfortunately, the tournament will continue this year without one of its biggest fans. While it may have seemed poetic and fitting for him to have left us after the conclusion, is there ever really a right time for something like this? His departure from our daily lives does not fill me with sadness. Of course, I wish that he could still be with us here today. But I am not overcome by grief, and I hope that none of you feel that way either. When somebody is stopped short in the prime of their lives, or has lived a somehow unfulfilled life that's long on potential, but short on actual accomplishments and good works, those are situations that should rightly sadden us. But who can say that this has been Dada's life? He has accomplished all that one could have expected a man to do in his lifetime, and much more. It is natural to take the measure of a man at a time like this. Interestingly, this has been more difficult than I expected. Not because this man has not been an accomplished person. That's no one met somebody new at a gathering and learned their life story within the span of a few minutes. On the other hand, if you wanted to learn about Dada's life, you were in it for the long haul. You had to be prepared to probe and prod and interrogate because he was not the least bit forthcoming about such things. What a refreshing anachronism that is, wouldn't you say? I certainly think so. I'm sure other speakers today will surprise you with some interesting tidbits about Dada. But for now, I'll summarize by saying that he was the embodiment of the maxim, still waters run deep. I have some personal remem remembrances that I would like to share with you, if you'll still indulge me. I went to India several times over my lifetime, a few times when I was much younger, and I was relatively adventurous. On a hero bicycle, I went all over the town of Angleshwar, to the banks of the Narmada and back, and wherever my fancy led me. With a few rupees in my pocket, I was good to go. I must have been some spectacle, because I wore t-shirts and white pants every day. I found out later to my chagrin that those white pants were nothing more than pajama bottoms. But what the heck, in the stifling heat of summer India, that, that was, it didn't matter to me, I didn't care. I stopped often to pick up things like Kadi Singh, Kolkata Pan, some sodas, or even a tempting fried roadside snack that my mother told me to avoid. I knew people thought I was an oddity, but when I conveyed in my broken Gujarati who I was, they would always reply something along the lines of, Kiku Kaka, my grandfather, was so well known and respected in the area that my association with him gave me, gave me instant credibility. As a 16-year-old riding around town in pajama bottoms, I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> Last year, Ban Dada spent some time with my family and my cousin Amishi's family. Amishi and I both love to eat, and she thought she'd impress us with some gourmet pizza she picked up for us. She could see how much I was enjoying the meal and asked me if I liked her choice as if she didn't know. I wasn't saying a word, so she obviously knew the answer to that question. I was too busy eating. However, she then made the mistake of asking Dada for his opinion. His response was swift, direct, and impactful. Pizza hut na pizza sara That's all he said. I saw Amishi's face fall, and I didn't even try to stifle my laughter. That was Dada, plain spoken, simple man with simple tastes and just about everything. Though he's my own grandfather, there are still things that I discover about him to this day. Tragically, my mother, his eldest child, left us a couple years ago. 
What? What greater grief can one have in this world than to have to carry on after losing their own child? Dada is very Gandhian in his ways and very much embodied the dispassion towards this existence, this asa um, that's espoused in Hindu philosophy. When his nita was near her end, the rest of us were falling apart with our grief. Instead, he calmly and rationally said that she needed to embark upon her next journey and asked that we not detain her any further by our selfish wishes to keep her as long as possible. Despite all of this, I found out only a couple of days ago from my grandmother that he lovingly kept pictures of my mother in his prayer book to reflect over. Up until recently, even she had not known this. Thank you. He lived his faith as fully as anybody, and perhaps his detachment prevented him from being as outwardly demonstrative as somebody else may have been about the depth of his grief. However, at the end of the day, he was a father and a husband who fully loved those near to him. And it was in simple glimpses such as this one that one began to understand the depth of his love. Dada spread that love around generously just not in a showy or attention-getting way. Obviously, he was the patriarch of his own family, raising his own children. But he has also taken care of son-in-laws, some grandchildren, and more. When I was away at graduate school, and my wife returned to work full-time after having our first daughter, Anjali, my grandfather, at the age of 80, along with my grandmother, took care of his three-month-old great-grandchild for several months. I am certain that Anjali will benefit from Dada's guidance in ways that she will never realize. In concluding, I would like to convey what I believe his wishes would have been to all of you. Quite simply, it was his time to move on, and therefore you should not hold on to your grief. However, I won't stop there. Please do help us to celebrate this remarkable man's life. I know that he would scold me for making this request, but sorry, Dada, if I could embarrass you by riding around in your hometown in pajamas so long ago, you should have expected that crossing this line would come quite easily to me. Thank you. This was a quotation from Shakespeare's Adelo that Papa repeated to me often. A couple of months ago, as I first heard the news of my grandfather's illness, I prepared myself for the variety of emotions I would feel over the next few weeks. When I finally finished with intense grief this past Tuesday, I realized that to feel only grief for the death of a man who lived almost 93 years was somehow not right. Uh, in fact, I felt that the event should instead be a time to reflect on what he meant to me about my good fortune to have him in my life. So I'd like to take this moment to share with you memories of my grandfather. And indeed, the earliest memories I have of my, my life involve sitting with him on the Otla, the Porsche swing outside my grandparents' home in El Kishwar. My dada, who my papa, taught me my very first lessons. The emerging of circumstances, I was raised by my Baha and Dada for two years, from the age of two to the age of four. And now that I have kids that age myself, I now realize why I feel such love and respect and comfort whenever I was with my Dada. And I think of Papa now, in my house growing up, sitting on the green couch in my parents' living room, framed by the white California sun streaming in through the windows behind him. He'd be quietly reading a book, usually some tome on Christianity or Islam or some other religion or a classic Hindu text. 
and when I took time out of my busy childhood schedule to sit and talk to him, he'd inquire about my school work, usually what it was that I was reading. He'd, push, he'd gently push his favorites, Keats, Longfellow, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, and more Shakespeare. And inevitably, sooner or later, my Ba would call him, never by name, of course, a Mikacho, she'd always say, and she'd be calling him to eat something or another. He'd give me his little smile and we'd go our separate ways again. If he wasn't on that couch, he'd be on his walks. In India, I accompanied him as he walked everywhere. I particularly remember walking with him to the market to buy the daily fruits and vegetables. I can't, when I think of my papa today, I can't separate that from the idea of temperance and control. He ate only until he was no longer hungry. He talked only when he had something to say. He slept with the minimum amount of bedding necessary to separate his head and body from the floor. He wore a simple dhoti and a cotton shirt almost all the time I ever saw him. Growing up and living in America, this land of excess, to have such an example of moderation in all things really helped give me perspective in life. Daily, as long as I can possibly remember, he meditated alone in his room, and he once said to me that meditation was the one gift he wanted to leave with me. He taught me the basics. Now I can't say that I meditate daily. I can't say that what I learned from him formed the foundation of my spiritual well-being. As I said, Papa was a man of few words. He never said, I love you, or I'm proud of you, but the look in his eyes when he smiled at me, his presence at every event in my life, from the beginning of my lessons to the culmination of my education at my PhD defense. The way he let me hold and stroke his hands told me more than any words could that I was his degree and as dear to him as any of his fault. So I'll end with another quotation, an excerpt from an ancient Buddhist tale that has brought me some comfort. The seeming opposition between life and death is now cut through. Do not thrash or lunge or flee. There is no longer a container or anything to be contained. All is resolved in dazzling, measureless freedom. <laughs> Upper caste. 
we are little lower kind of we are banya vanya gujarati ma pre ke je to when the my sister when i marry with her it was kind of little thing okay we are like upper class and this but kiku kaka came forward he bharat like he is going to marry with mira so he he want to he born in 1915 he does not have the primitive thinking but he was advanced thinker he was a municipal councillor of our town our town is ankleshwar we make a little joke about ankleshwar ishwar me god like god is our uncle but ankleshwar is in gujarat state in india he was a very strong and brave man when he when i was not born but he told me once there was a one murder in our town it was on a racial basis but he was a strong enough he stood until the midnight until police come and he told the whole story and he became the witness of that murder he was that strong let me tell you about one of my uh, childhood memory he was a honorary magistrate those who don't know about honorary magistrate but now they call justice of peace in honorary magistrate you know in those days there was no zero stop you or anything we have origin on mark sheet and you go with the true copy he look at it and he sign it that's called the true copy i was not good at that those with the language and there was a passing standard from 35 marks or 35 points out of 100 then and then you can get pass but sometimes you get a grace period or grace marks so i was good in other science subject so i got 3 great period and i got passed through the language so i went to him with my true copy to sign on it and what i did i got 32 plus 3 but i added up and i make it 35 he said he will not sign it i said why it is 35 35 no i cannot sign it you have to put 30 plus 3 3 is a great period but i said tiku kaka why but he said no i said Can you explain to me because I was young in those days and cannot accept whatever he said. He said no. Other people should know that you are weak in a language, you know. Even though you pass, but you are weak in the language. Other people should know about it. So he said that in those days I don't like it, but now I know why he was telling me. Um, and he always goes with the flow wherever he goes. Like when he was here, he was too much into sports. So one day we both were watching the baseball game, and I am not too much into baseball game. As a group in India, I was watching the cricket. So the guy, one teacher was doing it underneath. There is a bullpen. I said, "Tiku, what is this?" He said, "Bullpen is the next pitcher in the line." Even I don't know, but he knows about the baseball a lot. <laughs> he was too much in the tennis also. He likes to watch Wimbledon and all this thing. Let me tell you. He was telling me one of those days, the Marat Safin, the tennis player from Russia, he was favorite, his favorite player. He said he is the player who plays the real tennis. He doesn't care whether he will win or lose, but he will play. And look at there, now Marat Safin, he beat a very good player in the Wimbledon. But he had that things. <clears throat> time is very powerful thing. Thing goes by time, but in his time. In his case, time cannot forget him. जिसे समय भी भूला नहीं जाता, अभी तो मैं जवान हूँ। I would like to do tribute three things before I conclude my speech. अगर खुदा कर दे नजर तुमको, हर नजर खुदा की है। खुदा तुम न होते, तो खुद ही न होते। And second thing I like, this is a good thing from the one of the movie Amen. हम सब तो रंग मच की कठपुतलिया हैं जिनकी दोरी ऊपर वालों के हाथों में बंदी है कौन कब कैसे उठेगा कोई नहीं बसा एंड द लास्ट वन पुनरपि जननम पुनरपि मरणम पुनरपि जननी जठरे शयनम यह संसारे खुली दुस्तारे कृपया पारे यही मुरारे भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम जय श्री कृष्ण प्रभु
Now I would find a father anxiously waiting for me on the patio for his son to arrive home by the evening train from a nearby city during a holiday break. Pop music that was once forbidden in my home was okay now. I knew he loved me, but I wouldn't hear this from him. I would eventually know it from my mother. Bhai was a towering figure in my town. I remember taking part in his political campaigns. He spent a quarter of his life in politics, local, city, district politics. He was extremely patriotic of his country a devout Khadidari, choosing to speak in Gujarati even though he majored in English from the college. He was a very good orator. He marched with Gandhi in Dali Kush on the way to Osan in March 1930 and he ran underground newspaper in 1940s during India's struggle for independence from British Raj. He was so patriotic that he wanted to invest money in Ankleshwar Nagrik Sarkari Bank. And he did that for many years. When there was a rumor that there was a, this bank is not going to do good, it's going to collapse. And people started drawing money from him. Even I urged that, that people are saying this, you know, you should be aware of that. He said, I know that bank is solid, it's nothing is going to happen. Our money is for our town. Well, he was wrong. There was a mismanagement, he lost a lot of money in that. And uh, he kind of felt sorry that he didn't fail, but he would still believe that, that he did the right thing. There was no regret on his part. He championed causes of the poor, and I remember one incident clearly while growing up, in which he took a wealthy hotel owner to justice for his atrocities perpetrated on a penniless worker. Bai started his career as a teacher after graduating from Ferguson College in Pune with English as a major. Few years later, he went into a business with a partner running a printing press and a stationery shop. Bai was not much of a businessman, he's Brahmin after all. <laughs> but fortunately, with a loyal and a business savvy partner, he continued to dabble into politics and less into business. His partnership with this man lasted close to 50 years. Unheard of an association these days. My parents visited me in USA first in 1975 and since then he made quite a few trips back and forth to India. He was a very simple man who never asked for anything. He was an avid reader enjoyed watching mystery movies, Colombo on TV was his favorite show. He was a sports enthusiast. He excelled in reciting slokas from Upanishad and Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> My parents were married for 68 years. This theirs was a kinder, gentler relationship. He was never the one to show public displays of affection. But when my mother had her knee surgery, I found him sitting at her bedside from 8 a.m. in the morning to 7 p.m., gently moving his hand up and down her arm. It was only recently that my mother discovered a letter she wrote to him a few years ago in his prayer book, along with pictures of my deceased older sister. My father's health declined over the last couple of years. Many of you probably witnessed my parents walking up and down the local streets in the past. But lately, he only walked to the driveway to pick up a newspaper. He knew of his approaching time and would ask my mother to let him rest peacefully with his head in her lap. He used to tell her that the thread of my life is in your hands.
On March, on sorry, on May 20, 2008, he sustained a stroke while in India that suddenly changed his life. The illness robbed him of his independence. He was a man who was fully independent, albeit slowly doing things his way. And then he was not able to move, he was not able to swallow, he was not able to speak, and kind of a miserable existence that he thought that this was not the way he wanted to be. He passed away quietly on June 24, 2008. He used to say, if your time has not come, not even a doctor can kill you. <laughs> Why? I loved and respected you. All my life. However, I did not often tell you that. You had been my hero, and I was in awe of you. My last gift to you on Father's Day that just passed was to bring you home from India, from a hospital in India. Highest tribute that I can give you is that I have tried to emulate your ways but have not been successful. I am reminded of a quote, the perfume of sandalwood, the scent of rose bay and jasmine travel only as far as the wind, but the fragrance of good, goodness, fragrance of goodness travels with us through all the worlds. Like garlands woven from a heap of flowers, you fashioned your life as a garland of beautiful deeds, you will be a tough act to follow, that's for sure. I thank you very much for attendance at this funeral. Submit his love of language. That is studied English in university and even taught it in the thereafter. He was known to be a stickler for precision in speech, be it in Gujarati, Hindi, or English. Pursuant to this, he developed an interest in poetry, and as we heard from my sister, especially in the works of Henry Longfellow. To end this part of the memorial service, my cousin, Shivala Gave, will present a poem by Longfellow. Thank you. Our lives sublime. In departing, leave behind us footprints on the sand of time. Footprints that perhaps another sailing over life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. Everyone, I think, knows that Dada was obviously a great man. He was a role model for me, as well as all my cousins and family. Um, I definitely adore him. <coughs> Definitely wish I could be just like him. I think everyone agrees. And though his physical presence is gone, he's not with us today. He is with us in spirit, and his footprints are still in my heart. And I'm really going to miss the way you called me, Shu. I love you, Dada. Everyone who so desires to come to the front and pay their respects to Dada directly. <coughs> Thank you.
It's a big cemetery, no? Yeah. Very it is big. very big. Yeah. Woman in a certain area is very nice. Very Look nice. Look at this one, big one, a cohol chef. Mm. Mm. एक दिन उसने भी क्या किया पांच सौ डॉलर निकाले पति के सामने रख दिया बोले अब तो आधा घंटा बात कर लो <laughs>